Hi, uh, good evening, friends, and I welcome you for the lecture on uh, thermodynamic cycles. Thermodynamic cycles, we begin with uh, you know, an auto cycle, which is theoretically known as you know constant volume cycle as well. And all the engines which are uh, presently working on uh, petrol or uh, gasoline, such engines are basically known as auto cycle based engines and constant volume engines. This uh, cycle is uh, very important and fundamental uh, because, uh, you know, uh, this is the prime uh, mover of uh, you know, majority of automotive um, engines and uh, automotive systems. Uh, this uh, cycle, auto cycle, is theoretically okay. We can analyze. There are four fundamental processes that are going to take place. But uh, uh, to understand rightly what is this engine cycle, auto cycle, is all about, we can make out if we, you know, uh, if we if we understand rightly what and how the engine, uh, petrol engine, is basically working. The petrol engine, whether you consider whether it's a two-stroke or four-stroke, comprises of four important processes, excluding suction and exhaust. What I mean by you know, four important processes, otherwise it will be you know comprised of suction and also exhaust. It, it, it will be different. Now, what we have is there is going to be you know suction stroke. That is uh, where it is going to begin, and we have compression stroke, uh, then uh, burning of the fuel or combustion, then expansion and you know heat rejection or ex exhaust. These four uh, you know prominent processes are going to be worked upon uh, with a uh, described fundamentally with the auto cycle that I'm going to discuss. Uh, theoretically speaking, we have to depict or uh, indicate uh, modernic cycle, well, whatever cycles we study on, it is a custom or, you know, a, and have a practice, good practice to do, represent all cycles on TV, uh, I mean, pressure volume uh, and uh, TS diagram, which is, temperature entropy diagram. If we represent the you know, cycle on PV and TS diagrams, then we can make out some significant important uh, you know, things coming out of that figure. Uh, here, I would like to begin with. Okay, I have an engine, let us say. I start with uh, pressure volume, this is volume, this is pressure, and uh, I have a compression stroke, we call that, uh, I just represent that as I'm indicating with an arrow, this is uh, initial process, let's say, name it as one and two, then I have uh, a constant volume process, constant volume process, okay, this is three, then expansion and uh, constant volume heat rejection. I will describe all uh, these processes, but let me uh, put uh, another important uh, component that you can understand rightly what is happening. Let's say this is the where my uh, engine piston is lying. You can assume that is the piston and the rest of the things are not drawing it. And if I represent that, this may be you know the extreme position of the piston. It, uh, the piston may reach to that position when it is at two. 
Now let me tell you uh, some important. Uh, 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 let me explain you how this uh, cycle is functioning. How a petrol engine. This is uh, an auto cycle. Auto cycle. This is also known as constant volume cycle. Okay, All right. Come back and let's see the uh, image or the figure. Try to understand what is this PV diagram. This is pressure and volume, as I told you. Right now, the piston assume that it is uh, suction stroke has done. You know, now engine is uh, filled with uh, a charge. A charge in the sense is uh, having air as well as fuel. Fine. But here, theoretically, uh, we are not considering fuel. We have only a standard cycle. This is basically an a standard cycle. Now, let's see. Once a piston is at, let's say, bottom dead center, or this extreme position is known as dead center. Uh, yeah. Piston is started at this position and it is, you know, it's compressing. We call it as a compression stroke. Due to compression, what happens? Pressure rises, right? Due to compression, pressure is going to increase. Then it, that's what it is indicating. And this process is, if you see, if this process one to two is a, is a reversible process because it's a theoretically we put it as like that reversible adiabatic process, adiabatic. And we we can name it as an isentropic as well because we know that it is isentropic. In reversible adiabatic, what happens? Entropy remains constant. So this is an isentropic compression. One to two is an isentropic compression process. Compression. Right. Uh, from two to three, I you can see that it is that only at that particular you know, volume. There is no change. That's the name, very name indicates constant volume. Here, what happens is what we uh, we assume that this is a heat addition process. There, there is where you know keeping volume constant. Piston is resting at this. I mean, piston is. Uh, uh, you know, paused at, the, at that position and then we are burning fuel. So that is what is heat addition, right? So two to three is constant volume process, constant volume process, and we call it as, you know, heat addition, right? Heat addition. Then next is uh, followed by Three, four, three to four uh, is again reversible adiabatic expansion process. Reversible adiabatic expansion. Uh, this is isentropic as well. We can name it as isentropic as well. And this is an expansion process. Right, expansion. In, right, that's that's an important point. And from four to one, what do we have? It's again a constant volume, constant volume. What what's happening? We we added heat and we removed heat. Heat rejection. We can call that heat rejection. Right. Hope you understood that. Uh, what is auto, auto cycle? Auto cycle comprises of uh, four important process. Process one to two, which is a reversible adiabatic or isentropic compression. And followed by that is uh, two to three, which is, rever which is a constant volume heat addition process. Then three to one is reversible adiabatic or isentropic expansion process. And four to one is heat rejection process at constant volume. 
this total you know cyclic process is known as an auto cycle what is that the same cycle if you represent on ts diagram i can tell you i can tell you that uh, for that i should remove this figure i'll remove this theoretical points that i wrote Excuse me, hope oh, this is better. Yeah, let's move on. The same cycle I would like to show you there on TS diagram. Okay. Temperature and entropy. Isn't it? Yeah, what do we have? We have process one to two, which is constant entropy process, isentropic process. We know that. So one to two is an entropy constant process. I can represent there like that. It is one to two. Agree? Then constant volume process will have you know a particular slope in TS diagram. Particular slope. I can indicate like that, and it is three. And from three to four, it is again an isentropic process which is again a straight line, three to four, and four to one is again having another slope, which we have a constant volume process. So this is volume constant process. Volume is constant there on TS fan. And this is an isentropic line. This is a very clear idea. This is how we represent PV diagram and PS diagram and auto cycle. Right? And I also have explained why this is so critical in uh, making our or finding out the uh, you know the working cycle of nowadays prime removal like petrol engines. We need to derive the efficiency equation of this particular cycle, which uh, I will show you uh, here. Uh, for that, I would be you know, putting Oh, uh, you might have taken that figure right there. I I would like to take out this particular figure so that I can derive the efficiency equation of that cycle, which is a, an important aspect of studying the auto cycle. Yeah, the efficiency, what we have, efficiency, which is thermal efficiency, our heat standard efficiency. How do we write? It is heat supplied minus heat rejected or by heat supply, isn't it? And what is heat supply? Heat supply is at constant volume, CV, temperature raise, T3 minus T2, right? And heat rejected is at constant volume, T4 minus T1 and heat supply cv t3 minus t2 what do we have we have something like one minus t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 isn't it you understand i mean that take cv out and it cancels out and you can divide and it becomes one minus uh, T4 minus T1 by T3 minus T2. Simple as that. Now, to further simplify this, what do we need to further simplify? Because we will we'll be not knowing the temperatures of that, you know, all various points. If you are running the cycle, isn't it? If you are running an engine, 
So what do we have is we have this volume, something like V1, we name it as 1. The 1 is V1, volume 1. And what is happening is cylinder uh, is having different volumes due to the piston position, right? So at piston, uh, uh, at the extreme, uh, we call it the bottom dead center, will have maximum volume, we call it V1. And when it is having a position at TDC, we call it as V2, isn't it? V2. The ratio of that V1 by V2, we call as compression ratio. And we, we represent it with small r. It's a notation generally. This is one point you must you know, uh, know about auto cycle. Now, to further simplify this, Process 1 to 2 is an isentropic process and isentropic process will have a relation like this of T2 minus T2 by T1 I'm just relating 1 and 2 will have something like V1 by V2 power gamma minus 1 and similarly we have T4 T3, sorry, by T4 will have again, you know, it's same. I mean, what I mean by that is it is same, isn't it? This process is going to be same. I can write that as T4 by T3 by T4, isn't it? Both are same compression ratio to the power R minus 1, R gamma minus 1, sorry. Now, when we have this, what we have is when we have this kind of relation, we can rearrange like T1 by T4, T2 by T3, uh, 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 both are same. I mean, that's how we can rearrange. If we rearrange, we can easily make out this is going to be 1 minus T1 by T2. And this can be simplified as 1 minus 1 by T2 by T1. And that T2 by T1 is 1 minus 1 by R, which is compression ratio to the power gamma minus 1. This is the efficiency, thermal efficiency of an autocycle. Thank you.